I don't know about you, fellow gamers, but I am not a mecha nerd. I'm not the biggest fan of huge robots and prefer more human storylines. I am not the guy who enjoys buying those big boxes full of tiny pieces of plastic and assembling them into a shiny robot that carries more guns than an NRA convention. There's just some aspects of nerdiness that I feel are just too much work. Video games, however, have always provided me with the best window with which to view this branch of nerdhood. In this case, we have a 3D beat-em-up with giant robots. Now this I can get used to. This is Zone of the Enders, a mecha action simulator created by Konami and spearheaded by the legendary Hideo Kojima, the mastermind behind the Metal Gear series. We have shot down the enemy. Another shout out to Justin from Cranberry who lent this game to me. This title does not necessarily reflect the genius of Kojima in its entirety, but it has become popular with video games and also in the anime world, with an OVA and a 26 episode series. The setting is obviously futuristic, in the late 22nd century. Humans have finally gotten to the point where we live in space colonies across the galaxy, mainly on Mars and across the orbit of Jupiter. However, these colonies are called Enders, and the higher class inhabitants of Earth view them as inferior and lower in class. Thus, Earth has imposed harsh laws and unfair regulations to mess with the Enders. You play as Leo Stenbuck, an Ender colonist who is in control of an orbital frame, the name given to the mechas in this series. Leo's orbital frame is named Jehuti, the name of an important ancient Egyptian deity. His only friend, a blue-haired girl named Sylvice, is the only one that he feels personally attached to, and he is caught up in helping her during the conflict in the Jupiter colony of Antia. Basically half of the game, you'll be doing a lot of zipping around in your orbital frame, slicing up and shooting down rogue mechs. The other half will be cutscenes and illustrations of how much Leo Stenbuck is like Shinji Ikari from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yes, he's another one of those poor youths who are so withdrawn from contemporary society because he has mommy and daddy issues and has to spend most of his time flying around the galaxy piloting a robot that some may say should be left to real soldiers. No one ever gives him a chance. I would say he is much more mature than Shinji, however. Much more in control of his mecha than Shinji was in that first episode of Eva. The gameplay is quite simple to get a hold of and is actually quite enjoyable for first-timers of mecha games like myself, especially if you're a hack and slash or beat em up fan. As you progress through the story, Jehuti will acquire more weapons in its arsenal and thus become stronger. But the way you fight stays the same, mostly button mashing through all kinds of rogue mechas in order to get passcodes to get to the next level. The style of battle is very cool and futuristic, almost acrobatic as you fight in the sky above towering skyscrapers. Most of all, the game's sound effects leave little to be desired, with really spacey futuristic music to accompany every battle. Still, Zone of the Enders was more sought after because of the demo of Hideo Kojima's other game. It's called Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. You might have heard of it. I recommend you stand by for certain distance and attack the enemy. Serious damage. I recommend you. <laughs> 